Hello friends. In this video, we are going to write a program in the assembly language for A051 microcontroller to count the number of ones and zeros present in a number. When a number is represented in binary format, we use zeros and ones. So to count that how many numbers of zeros and ones are present in that 8-bit number, we will write a program. So let's start with our program. So to write a program for this problem, let's see that what will be the problem statement. So, the statement for this program is write a program to count the number of ones and zeros in a byte which is stored in the external memory location 3000H. We have to write the program in the assembly language for the using the instructions of the 8051 microcontroller. Okay. So, first of all, we will see the steps which are to be followed to solve this problem, okay? Now, we know that we have to count the number of ones and zeros in a byte. So, first of all, we have to load that number in a register, then only we will be able to count it. So, our first step will be to load that byte. Because this byte is stored in the external memory location. So we have to bring this byte from the external memory location into the internal memory. Okay. And internal memory of 8051 microcontroller, it has various registers. Like it is having the general purpose registers like the registers of the four register banks and also the accumulator. So what we will do, we will bring this byte from the external memory location into the accumulator. So first step will be to load the byte in the accumulator register. From the external memory. Now second step will be because we have to count the number of ones and zeros. So two counter will be needed. One counter to count number of ones and second counter to count the number of zeros. So second step will be to initialize the counter one by eight zeros now what concept we will be using here to count the number of ones and zeros let's see this then you will be able to understand that why we are taking two counters here suppose that let's take an example of a number 52 now when this number is represented in the binary format it will be 0101 and 0010 5 will be represented as this and 2 will be represented as this in the binary format. Now when we want to count the number of ones and zeros, the number of ones is coming out to be 1, 2 and 3. And number of zeros are coming out to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now every number consists of 8 by bits okay we are having 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 8 bits will be there okay so to count every bit that whether this bit is 0 or 1 whether this bit is 0 or 1 whether the next bit is 0 or 1 so we have to count up till 8 bits so here we are using the counter 1 we are initializing it as 8 now 
when we have got to know that the number of ones present in the number is 3 and when we subtract it from 8 we will get 5 automatically we are getting the number of zeros because the number is having 8 bits if 3 bits are 1 then remaining bits will be 0 obviously so we can subtract 8 from uh, 3 from 8 and we can get the number of zeros present in the number so there is no need to count separately the number of ones and zeros what we will do we will only count the number of ones then we will subtract the number of ones from eight bits and we will get the number of zeros okay now to check that whether the bit is one or zero what we will do we will first store this number in the accumulator register Then we are going to rotate this accumulator, the contents of accumulator with the carry flag. Okay, rotate to the left side. Every bit will be rotated to left side by one bit. So when this bit will be shifted to carry flag, carry flag contents will become zero. So we can check that where the carry flag is set or reset. Set means whether it is 1 and reset means whether it is 0. If carry flag is 0, then it is reset. Okay, means that the bit is 0. So number of zeros become 1. If the carry flag is set, means it is 1 it means that number of 1 uh, the bit present in the number is 1 okay so number of 1s will be incremented so in this way we are using the concept that we are rotating the accumulator to the left side with the carry and every time we will check that whether the carry flag is set or not if it is set it means that that bit is 1 if it is reset it means that bit is 0 okay so this is the concept which we are using in our program to count the number of zeros and ones so in second step we have initialized the counter number one with eight so that we can count the number of zeros so to count number of zeros there is no need to uh, use some other counter just initialize the counter by eight and decrement the number of ones from it you will get the number of zeros directly now third step will be to initialize the counter for this number of ones so initialize the counter two as zero to count the number of ones now next step will be we have to rotate the accumulator and we have to rotate it to the left side with the carry. Okay, then we have to check whether there is carry or not. If there is a carry, and decrement counter 1, because 1 bit is already checked. Now, second bit will be checked. In this way, when all the 8 bits are checked and when that counter has become 0, because we are initializing the counter number 1 as 8. So, when all the 8 bits will be checked, this counter has reached to 0. Okay. So, every time, whenever 1 bit is being rotated, we have to decrement the counter 1. And if carry is generated, means 1 is present, then counter 2 will be incremented. Process will continue, means the rotation of the accumulator will continue till this counter number 1 has reached to 0, till all the bits are checked. 
and in the last our counter 2 is going to indicate number of ones result is stored in r not we are using the register r not to get the number of ones and number of zeros can be found by subtracting the number of ones from 8. So this is these are the steps which are to be followed in the program. Okay, let's represent these steps in the form of a flow chart. Now in the flow chart, the first step is the start. Okay. Then our first step was to load the byte in the accumulator register from the external memory. So first step will be load the accumulator. Next step will be, we have to initialize the counters. So initialize counter one, which is equal to number of zeros. Then initialize counter two, which is equal to number of once then we have to rotate data to left then we have to check whenever we have to uh, very whenever any decision is to be made then it is represented in the diamond shape so here we will check that if carry flag is set or not then if carry flag is set then counter 2 is incremented then counter 1 is decremented After that, we have to check whether this counter is counter 1 is 0 or not, means all the 8 bits are checked or not. If it is 0, then number of zeros is equal to 8 minus counter 2. Because number of ones is already there in the counter two. If we want to find number of zeros, then we have to uh, subtract the uh, subtract the counter two from eight. Okay, then only we will get the number of zeros. So after that, result will be there. And then stop. Now at this point, if carry flag is not set, okay, so directly this counter is not to be incremented and it will come to just decrementing the counter, okay. And here if counter is not zero, then again the data is to be rotated. So this step is to be repeated. So this is the flow chart that how the program is going to run. Now just we have to replace these blocks with the instruct okay now to initialize the counters we have to choose some registers from the register bank okay so here we will choose the register bank 0 of the 8051 microcontroller the 8051 microcontroller it has four register banks bank 0 bank 1 bank 2 and bank 3 
to select register by zero the third and the fourth bit of the program status word it has to be zero and zero both the bits should be zero then only register bank zero will be selected so the first instruction in our program is to select the register bank zero so that we can use the eight registers of that bank first instruction is clr psw dot three and clr psw dot four what these two instruction does they select the register bank zero in these register bank there are eight registers r not to r7 so to initialize the counter to store the result we can use these eight registers any of the eight registers now to select this register bank zero the third and the fourth bit it has to be zero zero this combination should be there of the program status word psw so we use the instruction clr that is clear clear the bits third and fourth of psw clearing means bringing them to zero value so zero will be set and register bank zero will be selected so now we can use the any of the registers of this register bank and for the storage for the initialization for the counters okay next in the flow chart our step was to from the external memory because in the program in our question it was there that we have we are having the number in the external memory at the location 3000 h okay in the 8051 microcontroller there are two memories internal memory external memory external memory is always pointed using the pointer data pointer register this data pointer is a 16 bit register and it points towards the 16 bit memory location so the number from this dptr it has to be shifted to the accumulator which is in the internal memory so what we will do first of all we will use the two registers from this register bank and then use them as the counter so first is the r not register we are initializing it with the 00h and then we are using the r1 register initializing again it as the 00h and uh, then we are using the register r2 and initializing it as 08 so r0 is initialized as 00 to count number of ones r1 is initialized as 00 to count number of zeros and r2 is initialized as 08 to count number of bits because in that number we will be having eight bits so we have initialized as the eight okay so this is the initialization which we have done now comes the external memory shifting we have to take the number from the external memory and load it into the accumulator so first we have to initialize the data pointer with that memory location at 3000 h memory location we are having the number okay so data pointer is initialized with this memory location in dptr 16 bit is there so 30 and 00, 0 will be there okay this is our dptr data pointer these are the this is the higher byte and this is the lower byte after that because to shift the number from the external memory to the accumulator we have the instruction move x a comma the number which is at the memory location in dptr this is indirect addressing means we are not using this number but the number which is stored at this memory location okay indirectly we are using that number here immediate means that this number will be shifted in dptr 
ओके बट हियर दिस थ्री थाउजेंड एच विल नॉट बी शिफ्टेड इन अक्यूमुलेटर द नंबर विच इज देयर सपोज एट थ्री थाउजेंड एच वी वर हैविंग द फिफ्टी टू एच नंबर सो दैट नंबर विल बी लोडेड इन अक्यूमुलेटर ओके मूव एक्स this is the movement or transfer of data from the external memory for external memory we are using this x okay now next step is to number we have got in the accumulator now we have to rotate the accumulator so we will use the instruction rlc this is rotate accumulator left with carry okay left side the bits will be shifted by one bit okay then RLC A that is rotate accumulator left through carry with uh, the contents of the accumulator. Now when each of the bit is shifted to carry uh, flag, then next step will be to check that whether the carry flag is set or not. If it is not set, then what we have to do? It is not set means that the bit was zero. Okay, and to count the bit which is zero we are having the uh, r1 register is for counting the number of zeros and r0 is for counting the number of ones so if that bit is not set okay carry is not generated it means that no carry generated means that bit was zero okay so it will jump to some other location now if suppose carry is generated that means it is one and for counting the one we are having the r not register so r not register is to be incremented inc r not and if it the carry is being generated then jump to some other memory location l2 l2 is written here in the flow chart you can see that we have to rotate the data to left we have to check that if the carry flag is set or not if it is set then counter is incremented counter number 2 is incremented and counter number 2 is what the r not register okay so here we have written that when carry is not uh, if the carry flag is not generated then it will jump to this memory location if carry flag is generated that it will increment r not so this is step that counter is incremented is our inc r not if it is not generated then counter will be decremented so next step is that we are decrementing the r2 r2 is having the 8 r2 is initialized as 8 so it will be decremented it will become 0 7 so that first bit is already checked now this instruction is that decrement and jump if it is not zero okay so in this step we are decrementing also and checking that whether the counter is zero or not if it is not zero then the rotation steps and all this checking will be repeated if it is zero then next steps will be followed so here if it is not zero then jump to this memory location and repeat the rotation of the accumulator check the next bit whether it is uh, whether the carry flag is set or not if it is set that increment r not if it is not set then again decrement the counter r2 and jump to next other uh, vapis uh, the next memory location so these steps will be repeated until and unless all the eight bits are checked when all the eight bits are checked now we want the result that how many number of zeros and ones are present so zeros and ones number the counter two that is r not register r not register is already having the number of ones so next is time what we will do is we will move in the accumulator the digit 0a then we will clear the carry then we will subtract accumulator and the r not that is number of ones to get number of zeros 
you have to subtract the number of ones from eight. So eight is shifted in accumulator. Carry is cleared because this instruction subtract B means subtract along with, with or without carry. That is borrow. So first of all, you have to clear the carry. If carry is not clear, if it is already set one, then that is going to generate a wrong result. Okay. So this step is very essential that you have to clear the carry. Then only you will can do the subtraction. So subtract A that is 8 and the number of ones which is in R0. So you have got number of ones in the accumulator. Now move that number of ones in the R1 register and then end of the program. So in R0 you are having number of ones and in R1 you are having the number of zeros. So the concept which is used in this program to count the number of ones and zero is to first put that number in accumulator, rotate the accumulator, check every bit of the accumulator, rotate that accumulator with carry so that every bit will be shifted in the carry flag and check that whether the carry flag is set or not. If it is set means that bit of accumulator is one. If it is not set it means that that bit of accumulator is zero. Okay, so setting and resetting of the carry flag will help us to count the number of ones and zeros present in that number. So I hope that this program is now clear to you. Thank you.